you guys welcome back to my channel happy new year welcome to the first video of 2018 and i know i'm a little unconventional in the way that i have started my year because it's already end of jan and i haven't been posting for a very long time i've been going through some some personal stuff uh, that i might discuss time in the future not immediate future but eventually i think i will um, talk about it when i'm ready but i think it's time that we kick start 2018 welcome to a new background okay this is not new this is just my closet <laughs> and usually i have a background set up for it but today i just felt like being a little more organic and matching my lip color a little bit so yeah with that let's get started today's video is going to be about glam ego subscriptions So as you guys know I did subscribe to Glamigo in November I think and since I didn't make a video about it in December and obviously it's the end of January I have a Glamigo versus Glamigo subscription box video for you that is too enthusiastic anyway so I have been experiencing this for now 3 months and I did post a video about it in November but I got my December subscription box right here and my January. So it's kind of like Glamigo versus Glamigo, December versus January 2017 versus 2018. I think that is what this video is going to be called. 2017 versus 2018. Anyway, so let's get started. I'm going to start with December what I got and then we're going to move on to January and then we're going to talk about which I like better, how my overall experience with the service has been. And yeah, so let's get started. All right. Let's start with December. The box for December is much cuter than the box for January, just because I'm I'm a blue kind of girl. I like this color a lot more than this. Don't get me wrong; it's beautiful, but this is more up my alley. However, when you lift it up, it does seem lighter than this one. It automa automatically would make you think if you were to get these together that this doesn't have as much substance as this does, but it may or may not be true. You never know. Anyway. So this box, the theme was double trouble. No, oh, sorry, don't trouble Santa, just Glamigo. So it came with four products, as per usual. The, I'm not going to really talk about these cards because it's just listing the name of products. I might look into them to see how much things cost. But uh, yeah, in any case, I'm just going to talk about this. So let's put this aside. The first product that kind of launches at you is this. um crystal collagen eye mask by i ripped off okay i ripped off uh, the top and i've already tried it out but this is by a company called monsa i know that monsa has been featured in glamigo before um but that was before my subscription that was when i used to just watch other people's videos about it but this time i got to try it out myself and i'll tell you what this is of all the products i think i was most excited about this one just because i've never done a collagen mask before um but my experience with it was not that great maybe i'm allergic to something in this i don't know it doesn't seem to list any ingredients that i might be allergic to or that i had an allergic reaction to before but um however when i did put this on first of all this is disgusting because this is already been tried and then put back in the packaging for this video i can't wait to get rid of it cuz you really as it already been used but What happened was it was really cooling initially and it felt great the first 30 seconds and then suddenly I got some sort of allergic reaction or maybe my skin was sensitive but everything started to burn and and be itchy and just be straight up painful for me like at the onset less than less than a minute into the whole process now according to this you were supposed to leave it on your skin for i think 30 minutes i'm not trying to bash the company it's just that this product didn't work for me at all and it just burned my under eyes and okay so you guys don't know this but i'm very severely allergic to dust to the point that i'm not functional in the morning if i don't end up taking a doctor prescribed anti allergic almost every night yeah so i i have been on anti allergic for a while just to kind of control my dust allergies and my sensitivity to change of weather so it just so happened that night was anti allergic night and i ended up taking it but before i did take the anti allergic i could feel this eye kind of um starting to burn and it felt like it was swelling up i don't know whether it was an allergic reaction or not in either situation i think my anti allergic kind of just controlled it for me but this was such a bad experience 
that um, I don't know if in the future if they have Monsa uh, masks, especially collagen masks. I'm not sure I'll be very keen on trying them out. Moving on, the next one was a clarifying face mask, a sea clay face mask by Natural Bath and Body. This, on the other hand, was amazing as an experience. I posted a photograph on Instagram uh, as, as an Instagram story, which in which basically I ended up looking like Shrek. So this is green colored, and once you apply it on your face, it's so cooling and so comfortable. It calmed inflamed acne down for the night for me. I mean, it didn't cure it, but it, it felt better. I felt more comfortable that that day. I was having particularly uh, painful acne, so it did kind of calm it down for me, so I could go on ahead and do the rest of my skincare later, you know, more comfortably. But this was very nice. I have used it twice since, but since this is such a small product, I'm, I'm saving it for days. When again, I have more um, enraged acne on my face. The third product is the Bio Bloom Skincare Foot Cream. And it is in the fragrance or variant. I don't know if it has my other variants. Eucalyptus. Um, this was a huge huge success i love foot care i love using a lot of foot creams i sleep with socks on that's too much information but anyway, okay, so i do so i like to give myself a little bit of a pamper treatment every night and this has been amazing uh, i think i'm going to like open this up and show it to you foot cream can be used anywhere i'm pretty sure but this you can see is a super thick cream I actually end up using here as well. I end up using it here. And all of those uh, places where you know you get you get rough skin. So but for my feet it's really really nice. It moisturizes my feet. They feel great in the morning. Highly recommend. And you need so little that I don't think I'll be running out of this anytime soon. But if and ever I did, I think I'll end up repurchasing it. And then this was the product that again I had really high expectations from. This is the Mana Kadar. Um, glow Illuminator. It says step 3. I don't know what step 1 and step 2 are in this uh, collection but this was um, again it, it wasn't bad but it was kind of underwhelming. I tried using it as a, as a spot highlight uh, on the kind of cheekbone area on my nose. I tried mixing it with foundation. It didn't really do much for me. The best way I found that I like to use it is if I'm going out, it's a special night for dinner with friends or something like that. I'll end up mixing it with my moisturizer and applying it on my arms, especially on my legs if I end up wearing a skirt or something. And that looks great. It gives you a nice healthy glow on your skin. But at the end of the day, it's not much more than that. It's not the kind of highlight that I would want on my face. And even as an overall um, glow to your skin situation, it wasn't that great. So. I know that this is some 2000 something rupees, I'll just check and let you know, but I'm uh, underwhelmed, underwhelmed. So that is what we got in the December box. Overall, two great items and one horrible item, personally speaking, and one of your okay. So I think I'll find some use for it, but this was an okay box. I'll give it about 50% marks. If we speak about how much things cost, then the Glow Illuminator was 2100 rupees according to the little card over here. The C clay face mask was 175. That's not bad at all. Oh god. I like that. I think I'll end up buying it again. The foot care product or, or the foot cream was up to 230. So I'm assuming that that means it's the full size is 230. Uh, I'll look it up on their website eventually when I'm ready to buy it. And the Monsub eye mask was 200 rupees. So that is what we had in the December box. Then January rolled around and let's see how January decided to compete with December. So the theme for the month of January was very predictably no resolutions, hashtag no resolutions. And it kept saying thing, things that we normally kind of have as resolutions and how to not have them. Like always say yes, talk less. Lord, I would never do that. Listen to him. Never. That's sexy. Don't, don't do that. Have, have, you have your own voice. Size zero, loose tummy, grow hair. Okay, that I did. I'm happy with my hair today. Just because I kind of made an effort and I, I didn't die. And get fair. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. So all of these things I don't... Oh, less Instagram. I think I need to Instagram a little bit more. 
go and follow me on my instagram i am going to be posting better pictures and upping my instagram game soon so a lot of these resolutions are listed over here that i do not agree with and thankfully neither does glammy go so let's move on and see what's inside Oh, that's sweet. It says thanks for making Glam Ego India's number one beauty box. It really is a good service. I do like it. On the back, it mentions all the products that it has and its price. We will get to that in the end. Now, this box again um, is a little half and half for me. The first thing is that I love getting makeup in my subscription boxes, and I got the Bella Volpe Perfect Lip Gloss, and I chose the shade. Is the shade mentioned? Turf tan. I wasn't sure I chose the shade, but that's the one that I got. They don't guarantee that you'll get the shade that you choose, but hey, but hey, it's a pretty shade, and it's the one that I'm wearing on my lips right now. I think it goes well with my closet and my nails. Actually, I think it goes very well with that. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's a nice gloss. It's not. It's not sticky. It's quite comfortable. Um, obviously, it's not transfer resistant because it's a gloss. It's going to transfer everywhere, but it's so comfortable and it's one of those things that I can just put in my bag. It's neutral. It will go with most looks. Uh, today, of course, I'm very neutral, but um, I think it should go with a lot of looks. And it's just one of those things that will probably end up in my uh, desk drawer in the office. So that's something I appreciate. And I do like Bella Vosper. I had I received a lipstick from them before. A couple of lipsticks. One of them was only okay, okay, but the other one was great. And I appreciate this gloss as well. Then I got the Met Caffeine Caffeine Char Gel with Taurine and Vitamin E. I don't know what Taurine is, uh, but this product is paraben free and. Okay, it was all right as as um, a charger. I've just used it used it once, as you can see, because this is a perfect travel size for me, and I expect to be traveling really soon. Um, I just came back from traveling again. Story for later, but I expect to be traveling again soon, and this is going to be a good size to carry with me. The funny thing about it is, it says caffeine twice on the, the name of the brand is Met Caffeine, and the charger is Caffeine Charger. Uh, but it doesn't smell like caffeine at all. I think it it smells a little mentholy, like minty. I don't know. It reminds me of uh, of aftershave. The the fragrance of a typical Axe aftershave or something. I don't know. It's something. It's a very masculine scent. I don't hate it, but I really wanted it to smell like coffee just because it's coffee. I love coffee. Coffee is one of the greatest joys of life. And I really wanted it to smell like that, so in that manner, I'm a little underwhelmed. But as a as a charger, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. And if you get over the fact that it doesn't smell like coffee, it smells okay. Slightly manly, but hey, who doesn't like that? <laughs> I got the skincare face oil, age defining and radiance booster. It's a face oil by Bio Bloom. Bio Bloom was featured in last month's uh, in December's uh, this thing as well, Glamigo box as well. And this product again, I it's it's the first time I ever got a facial oil. This is what it looks like. Uh, this is the first time I got something like this, and I was kind of interested in it. It's because you hear all these things about how facial oils are great, and you can mix it in with your foundation, and it's a great night oil cream treatment, whatever. But this is I'm not sure whether it's for me. So the first major put off was it smell. It it smells like mehndi. Like not even like mehndi oil, straight up like mehndi. And don't get me wrong, I love the smell of mehndi, but in an oil, it makes me feel like maybe it will turn me orange on my face. It doesn't. It doesn't turn me orange, but it is kind of a put off smell. And fragrances are a big part of my life. I love scented things. However, I wish this wasn't scented at all. As a moisturizer, a night cream, a foundation mixer, it's okay. It does dilute down the coverage of the foundation, and it does kind of hydrate you because, at the end of the day, it is an oil, right? But uh, didn't love it. Very frank. You know what was great though? The last product. This is the Natural Bath and Body. Again, I feel like we've got this uh, in the last month subscription box. Let me just check this brand. Yeah, Natural Bath and Body had the sea sea clay mask, and um, this time. For January, they gave us a vital nourishment cream that is grapefruit and vitamin C. Yeah, 
your lighter whiter brighter fit okay i did not see that before it says it's your lighter whiter brighter fit so just for the brighter fits that would be fine i don't support fair and lovely type of brands that claim to lighten your skin tone because i think all skin tones are beautiful and i don't support brands that want to promote the idea of of white skin it's it's not any more desirable or undesirable compared to anything else it's just your skin you're beautiful so i didn't really see that before and that's kind of turning me off but as a cream it was really nice so i i feel like a bad person saying these saying good things about it now but in any case um this was it smells wonderful let's let's just start with that it's a nice thick consistency as you can see and it's like a gel cream it gets absorbed in the skin pretty fast and it's decently moisturizing uh it doesn't leave you hydrated after uh, for a long time i applied under my makeup i have i've applied it under my makeup today except i wore this makeup in the morning and now it's 7 pm at night i'm just looking at my computer right here so yeah this as a moisturizer was really nice let me just tell you it doesn't give you a white cast or flashback so it doesn't whiten your skin it doesn't have an spf so it doesn't particularly protect you from tanning either it's just a good moisturizer so yeah this is uh, what i got in the month of january overall personally speaking uh, from my experience apart from this last little moment that i had i like this box a lot more i think glammy who just stepped it up in january and i appreciate that It was a good box. I like three out of four products, and the one that I don't like, it's not like it doesn't work. It doesn't do what it says. It just smells a little off. So somebody or the other will find a use for it. All in all, January wins. December is only okay. So this I give about say sixty five, seventy percent, and that was fifty percent. Speaking of prices, the Bio Bloom Face Radiance Oil, the oil that smells like mehndi, is for fourteen ninety nine. Wow. That's expensive. Hey, okay, so that's for fifteen hundred bucks. Uh, the Bella Voce Lip Gloss is five ninety nine. The Natural Bath and Body um, Face Cream, the, the the one that I showed you at the end, is two hundred and twenty, which is not that bad. I guess the only thing that's left is this item, and this item is it says one eighty nine over here, but something is listed here for three fifty. There is a little bit of inconsistency over here. This product is list, has an MRP of one eighty nine for this size. Uh, something is list, listed for rupees three fifty over here, and it's not included in the package. So I don't know what to make of that. But if we go just by the total of these, here is the total of the December box, and here is the total of the January box. So that is all for today's video. I think the Glamigo is a good service. I like that India is stepping up their subscription box game, and this definitely is one of the cheapest ones that I could find in the market. Um, I'm thinking of investing in some other subscription boxes as well. If you guys have any suggestions, any recommendations, or any sort of curiosity that you want me to satisfy for you, uh, go ahead and list it in the comments below, and I will be happy to buy that subscription box for you. That's all for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did like it, even if you saw, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It would help me a lot. And if you liked it a little more than if you saw, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know as soon as I upload. Every time I upload. With that, I also ask you to follow me on all of my social media, which is my Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. Go ahead and follow me everywhere. And yeah, I think I will see you next time. Bye bye. Have a good day, you guys.